Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. The Sylvanas event in Warcraft Rumble is in full swing. Now Sylvanas event started at the same time as the Warcraft Direct yesterday. And now I have had enough time to test things and see what the event is all about. And in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the event. So overall, the Sylvanas event, this is a solo event. It combines paid bundles. Yeah, you can get an advantage with paid bundles again. Buying stuff with coins from the grid and from daily offers. And also completing various challenges in quests or in heroics. And the full reward tree this time is going to cost 97,200 tickets. There's overall 118,700 tickets available, but unless you pay real money, as a free to play, no matter how much you have saved coins, the max earnable tickets are 94,700. So this is, I guess, now officially Rumble's first pay to win event in the sense that if you're free to play you cannot complete this tree but if you're a paid player then you can early on there were a bunch of reward trees where nobody could complete them fully and then there have been a bunch of reward trees where paid players can complete them relatively easily and free to play players can complete them if they're really prepared and grindy which is i suppose kind of okay but this is now the first time that free to play cannot complete the full tree Luckily, you don't actually have to complete the full tree. You don't really need all the rewards at the bottom, but still, that, that's how it goes. Nonetheless, the reward tree itself is pretty good for a one-week event. There's 850 coins here, there's 8,000 arc energy in this tree, a couple of star tomes, some mega tomes, rare core, a fairly reasonably priced epic core even. So, a pretty, pretty good looking tree. And that is taking into account that you won't get all of this. As an upside, the reward tree is a real tree. Again, your choices do matter. You can carve your own path through the tree. And here I have circled the most important items. So coins are the one target that you really, really want to get because coins are the most flexible items. So coins are circled here in blue. Then arc energy this time is quite reasonably priced, so it's Fairly good idea to target some arc energy as well, circled in green over here. And then near the end there's that Megatome and the Epic Core. They're also not that terrible of a pricing, so those are something that you might want to pick up if you have enough tickets. The bottom row Megatomes, they're a little bit more expensive. I mean, you can still get them if you really want. And then, of course, there's plenty of Sylvana Stars. I'm actually going to avoid many of the Sylvana Stars, but you can get a lot of Sylvana Stars out of this one if you want. But first of all, I would go forth and pick all the coins and all the arc energy. And picking up all the coins and all the arc energy is going to cost you 30,400 tickets. And those are the blue lines. There's actually a really interesting point here because everything else in this tree is interconnected except this one over here. I actually had a mistake out there earlier, but Igmod corrected me that, hey, you actually cannot go from this Sylvanas to that Arc Energy. So that's why we have to go through the Star Tomes. Star Tomes at the sides, well, I, of course, I could go through the Sylvanas to this side, but yeah, and that's clearly there just so that you can't pick up all the coins quite as cheaply. But 30,400 tickets to get all the coins and all the Arc Energy from the tree is not bad. So you're going to be able to get that. That's, that's perfectly achievable. And from here you have a pretty good basis, so you're actually able to extend pretty much wherever you like. So if you want specific stars, you can get them. If you want Sylvana stars, you can get them. You probably want to pick up this Megatome and maybe also that Epic Core. They're not that difficult to get. That Rare Core is a little bit expensive, but if you really insist, then you might be able to get that one too. But you probably want to take these, then if there's some stars you want to pick up, and then, then maybe go for some Megatomes or something. In order to get tickets, you need to complete various challenges. Some of them are just buying stuff. And then there's a bunch of these little bit grindier challenges, mostly related to various Sylvanas abilities or possession or that kind of things. And one thing that really helps you complete those are the quest modifiers. Because during the event, there's going to be three different quest modifiers that are not all going to be active at the same time, but they're going to be active on different days. So to access these quest modifiers, you need to go to quests. And then whenever there is this Sylvanas head symbol, that means that that quest has active modifier on it. Zombo combo modifier, playing your leader also spawns Sylvanas, spawn banshees after defeating enemies, is always going to be on the left side, on this one. 
Then there's going to be Alliance Defiance, playing a leader also spawns Sylvanas. So it's just a horde will rise to aid you. That's always going to be in the middle one, so it's going to be here in the middle. And then Boss Lady defeats Sylvanas with her ability to curse your troops and push back your assault is always going to be on the right side. So right here we have the two first modifiers are active and the third one isn't, but which ones are active is going to change daily during the event. And probably the most difficult challenges for this one are the challenges that require you to defeat a boss while cursed. There's one for Jaina, one for Tyrion, and one for Scenarius. And that means that you need to defeat this named boss in its map while it is under the effect of the Banshee curse. So Banshee that doesn't get to steal a mini, if it reaches the boss it's going to try to possess the boss, but it's going to get a damage over time effect on the boss instead of possessing it, and then you have to kill it while that damage over time effect is ongoing. It also looks like the Banshee curse cannot be the last hit so you would need something else to hit it as well. So you can do this in heroics, you load into heroic boss and do it there. You can do it in normal if you still have normal available. You can also do this in quest if you can find the right boss. And the Alliance Defiance quest modifier actually is going to give you Tyrion and Jaina on regular basis. So Tyrion and Jaina are the easiest to complete there instead of going to heroic Tyrion. Well, heroic Jaina is a little bit lower level so that might be more accessible. And that leaves just scenarios. And for scenarios, you probably need to go to heroic scenarios, and that can be a little bit trickier. I'll see if I can try to get a good guide for that fight specifically. But just an idea of what you need to do to complete these challenges. So that's the Sylvanas event. For the first time, you cannot get the full tree as free to play, even though you can get the full tree if you pay to play. But overall, it doesn't matter that much in this specific one because you can get all the good stuff. Obviously that is a little bit discomforting thought in general because this is the first event like this. But for this specific one the tree is good. You're going to get all the good stuff out of that quite easily and have some fun with the new improved Sylvanas. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.